Hello, guten Tag. Today I'd like to chat to you about the accusative case, which is not just used to accuse people. It's mainly used in everyday languages, in sentences such as I need a coffee, I love my family, I'm writing a report. So completely normal sentences. Every other sentence has an accusative case, but many people don't really understand what the accusative is, how it's used, what it's for. So if that is you, then I'd love to explain it to you. Na dann los! Mein Name ist Christina Day. Freut mich! I'm your online German tutor at simplygerman.online. Before we can launch into the accusative proper, we have to back up and talk about two really important concepts first. The first concept is the different types of words that there are in a language. And the second concept is what kind of function those words have in a sentence. Specifically, if they're the subject or the object and what that means and what the difference is. So first off, different types of words in the German language. I'm going to go sort of top level and say there are basically three different types of words. There are verbs, adjectives and nouns. Verbs express what you're doing, the activity in the sentence. So, to think, to work, to write, to sleep, to learn, these are all verbs. Adjectives are words that describe how something is, like tall, long, boring, interesting, green, new. These words are adjectives. And nouns are words for people, places or things. Basically, if you can say the something in English, then that something is a noun. So, for example, sofa is a noun, table is a noun, scarf is a noun. Uh, also, more abstract words like idea, the word idea is a noun, uh, the word motivation, the word faith is a noun. So, basically, when you can say the thing, that thing is a noun. Nouns in German have gender. So, actually, we have three, not just masculine and feminine, we have a third one, which is neuter. Gender of a noun is pretty arbitrary. You may think all things should be neuter because they are things. That would work with sofa, for example, sofa in German, that is neuter. But then scarf, for example, is masculine. Table is masculine. Flower is feminine. Bottle is feminine. Glass is neuter. So it's completely arbitrary. Arbitrary means, unfortunately, that's another way of saying you have to learn it. So when you learn a new word that is a noun, you have to learn it with its gender. And the way that is done is with the word for the. So we have three different words for the. If something is, if a noun is masculine, the word for the is der. So table, for example, is Tisch in German. So the table is der Tisch. Coffee is also masculine. Coffee is café. So the coffee is, it's your turn, go. The coffee, der café. Yes, you know there are always parts in my videos where it's your turn. It's really important to practice and when it's your go, say the words out loud. Enjoy it. If something is feminine, the word for the is die. For example, flowers are feminine. Flowers in German are blumen, related to the English blooming. What is the flowers? Die Blumen. That's it. The word for the for neuter things is das. Das. Sofa in German is sofa. The sofa is das sofa. Now, the second concept is actually a bit easier because it makes more sense. And that is the difference between subjects and objects. Sentences always have a subject and a verb. So the verb is the activity going on and the subject is actually the person doing that activity. So for example, in the sentence, I speak German, the activity going on is speak. That is the verb. And who's doing the speaking in the sentence? I. I speak German. So I'm doing the speaking, I'm doing the verb. So the word I is the subject in the sentence. Or let's take a different sentence. Uh, kids need milk. 
uh, slightly arbitrary, but there you go. Kids need milk. So the activity, the verb, um, what's going on is need. And who's doing the needing, as it were? Who is doing the verb? Kids. So kids in the sentence is the subject, need is the verb, and then the thing, the object that the kids need is milk. So milk in the sentence is the object. So that's it. That's two actually really major concepts. Nouns, what are nouns? And what is the function of the noun? And so what? Good question. The word for subjects and objects is not always the same. That's what. So in the sentence, I see him. The activity going on is see. Who's doing the seeing? I am. If you say he sees me, now he is the subject because he is doing the seeing and I'm the object. Now the word I has changed to me, you may notice, because you can't say me sees him or he sees I. It doesn't work because I is for subjects and me is for objects. And grammatically speaking, to add the proper terminology, I is in the nominative case. So we have different cases to tell us what is the subject, what is the object in a sentence. Subjects are in the nominative case and objects are in the, you guessed it, accusative case. That's where the accusative comes in. So And German does this too, exactly the same. Ich sehe ihn. I see him, so ich, nominative, sehe is the verb, to see, ihn is him, and now he sees me, er, er is he, er sieht mich, er sieht mich, so mich is the accusative of ich. So German takes this a little bit further, we also have an accusative for the word the. So there are three words for the, as we've seen, there's der, die, and das. And those three words, der, die, and das, are actually in the nominative case, meaning you use der, die, or das when the thing is the subject in your sentence. For example, the dog loves his owner. The dog loves his owner. So uh, love is the activity going on and the dog is doing the loving. So the dog is the subject. Dog in German is Hund and it's masculine. So we have der Hund. Now, other way around, the owner loves his dog. The owner loves his dog. So uh, for simplicity here, I'm going to go with the man loves the dog. Der Mann liebt den Hund. So the dog is now the object in the sentence and the word der changes in the accusative case to den. So der Mann liebt den Hund. We can't say der, that would be like saying he sees I. We need to use the correct word in the accusative and den is accusative of der. Der Mann liebt den Hund. Okay, I want you to try this. What about I like, I love this scarf. I love this scarf. So I am the subject, loving is going on as the activity and the object of your love is the scarf. Scarf is Schal and it was masculine if you remember. So it was der Schal but now it's become the object in the sentence. So how would you say, I love the scarf? Go, have a go. It's really important to practice. Commit, say it out loud. Ich liebe den Schal. That's it. Ich liebe den Schal. Kuli, this is my Kuli, a pen. And uh, it's masculine, so it would be der Kuli if it's the subject. But now let's do, um, I don't know if I feel that strongly about this Kuli, but let's do the sentence, I love the pen. Your go. Ich liebe den Kuli, if you said that, excellent. 
Actually, let's make the sentence, I need the pen. Maybe slightly more realistic. I need the pen. Need es brauche. I need, ich brauche. And now the object that you need is the pen. So it would again be, ich brauche den Kuli. The word the is actually called the definite article. So the definite article der changes to den. And other types of articles also change in the same way. So the indefinite article is the grammatical term for the word a or a, like a pen, a pen. The German word is ein, but in the accusative ein changes to einen. So I need a pen is ich brauche einen Kuli. Good, you said that before me. Super, I'm proud of you. And then other types of articles like the possessive article, that's a way of saying my, his, her, they also change again in the same way. So my is mein, but in the accusative meinen, which is just like einen with an M in front. Meinen. I need my pen. Go. Ich brauche meinen Kuli. Super. Ich brauche meinen Kuli. The good news about the accusative is that the feminine and the neuter words don't change. So D stays D and das stays das, whether it's subject or object in the sentence. So earlier we had Blumen. That was feminine. Die Blumen. And die Blumen stays D, whether they are subject or object. So you can say die Blumen sind schön. The flowers are nice, the flowers are the subject in that sentence, or ich liebe die Blumen, I love the flowers. The flowers are the object in the sentence, but die stays die, it doesn't change, so it stays die Blumen. The same for das. Das Sofa ist schön, ich liebe das Sofa. There's no change, so only the masculine changes. Let's do a couple more sentences for practice. How about I need a coffee? Coffee is café and it's masculine. Go! Ich brauche einen Kaffee. Ich brauche einen Kaffee. I need a coffee right now, so this is why this is coming up in my head. Useful phrase. What about I'm writing the report? Report is Bericht. Bericht and it's masculine. Ich schreibe den Bericht. I'm writing the report. Ich schreibe den Bericht. Or I'm writing a report. Go. Ich schreibe einen Bericht. Super. That's it. And that's all there is to the accusative. Not just used to accuse people. There are loads of verbs that naturally trigger the accusative, like I eat something, I eat an object, I have something, I have an object, I write something, I write an object. So there are loads of verbs that naturally trigger, or there are loads of sentences that naturally have an object. If you can think of any others, write them in the comments below. I'd love to hear your sentences. I'd love to see your practice. Okay, das ist alles für heute. That's it for today. Dankeschön, bis nächste Woche. Tschüss.